Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, okay. That's on the line between bullet and robot. I'm gonna choose the robot, because I like the robot. I think the robot's a good character. Well, I mean, the robot sucks, but he's got a good starting weapon and the coolant and he's gold. And really, that's all I need. I just need a gold robot boy. Yo, do, so, the Lich Hunter, the sprite's incomplete. Okay, the sprite is complete on the golden robot, though. We do have that table slide animation that is gold. I had to check, because I wanted to see if we actually had the uh, the correct animation there, and it looks like we do. Good, good, my gold robot friend. Time for some 3PO action. What the hell does that mean? Oh. I don't know why I was scared that I was gonna take damage there. But yeah, last run in the gungeon, it's really freaking good. We only had like a couple of high tier items, but what we had was freaking YV. Oh, Gamma Ray. We had YV, we had Platinum Bullets, and like Abyssal Tentacle and Chance Bullets. And like, that's all you need. Oh, no! <laughs> I wa walked down the hallway, I didn't even see him. He just rolled into the wall with me. Oh, that was scary as hell. Time for some 3PO action, C3. Oh, CPO, I'm C3PO, I gotcha. I get it, I get the joke. Yeah, we have a key drop, let's just open this now. We'll take Disintegrator, which is not a good gun, but eh, it's something. We can at least use it to kill the boss. And hey, you know what, if it's gonna be Trigger Twins, I'm gonna be happy to have it, because if you are fighting the Trigger Twins or the Kill Pillars, you definitely want to have some ability to hit both of them at the same time if you have it. Piercing shots, coolant, anything goes. Anything goes. C-3PO Star Wars dude, I get it now. I always think of um, Bender. You know, shite my, sh uh, shite my, hey shite me mate. Bite my shiny metal ass. No, no, uh, bite my glorious golden ass is what he says when he's golden, that's what I think of. Not C-3PO. Where could he be? We only have one key. Robot no hit run. I mean, that's the dream. The only question is, can we actually make it happen? And honestly, with the disintegrator, the boss fights are gonna be easy, at least until like the third floor. We do need to find a good room clearing gun, but you know, robot's, robot's right hand can carry us for a long time. You had a run where you spent money on a key while the orc was selling Big Boy and then you got Gamma Ray as the boss reward and you were one shell off. There's my explosive barrels. Yeah, the, the, the kegs as opposed to the barrels as opposed to the oil drums. You know, I should call them drums and barrels because the barrels are the wood ones, the drums are the metal ones. We should be like consistent with our nomenclature, you know what I mean? Doesn't matter how much ammo we use, because this is the only thing we're using the ammo for on this floor, basically. It is to our benefit, though, to like decharge and recharge the disintegrator, though, so you don't just waste the ammo. Oh, hey, the bow! Mmm, bow. That's great. Hold on, everybody, I got the bow. Gotta look for a secret room with the bow. Hold up, hold up. You don't think this is hitting them both at the same time. Well, I mean, you know, cycling between them, just making sure that you're not at that damage cap forever. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Yay, it is it. <sighs> Everything's locked. Why does everything gotta be locked, my dude? Every time I focus on the Guan Stones, that's when I lose the no-hit run, run. So buying that Guan Stone basically guarantees that we are going to, to get hit at some point. <laughs> that's, uh, that's at least where I believe. 
All right. Bomb bow is my favorite. Is there a bomb bow synergy? Like if you get the bow and bomb or ice bomb or something? I've never, I don't think I've ever had it, but that seems like a pretty cool synergy. It would seem like a good synergy, which is strange in Gungeon to have with the bow. All right, we had some drums in here. I got, I got, I got to practice. I got to practice so that my my names for these things are consistent. And I can change. I can be a man of change. I just need practice. Well, we'll take the ammo drop. Junk is basically half broccoli, right? Yeah. I mean, there are other benefits to broccoli. Like, isn't it also like a speed upgrade or something? I want to say it's a speed upgrade, but I don't think it is. It's like damage negation, rate of fire. It's something else. It's it's not just damage. I just I can't remember what it is. Oh my god, that enemy was so fast immediately. It's like it's like he he got gun sung, and he activated as soon as he got gun sung. That was scary. Dude, be careful of the freaking. Blobs, man. Need contact immunity at some point. It, it, it's a speed up. And a chance at ignoring a hit. God damn it! Oh, so close! <laughs> So close to getting the uh, the water there. Oh, you saw me try. I tried my damnedest using the disintegrator ammo. Trying to get my shot to land up in there, up in there, up in there. Damn it. We haven't been to a shop yet, so I mean, we don't have a key. It's unfortunate that we can't activate that uh, Sinner Grace chest, but you know what? That's okay. Here's the thing. What would we want from a Sinner Grace chest right now? I don't think we would want anything, do we? Like, do we have any, like, potential active synergies? Is there any synergies with coolant? No, it's starting item. If we got a synergy with the bow, we could get, like, that weird, like, super bow charge ability. We could get, um, uh, a sling. Bow and hammer, I think, is a synergy? Maybe. I don't remember. But either way... Either way, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. He's gotta, he's gotta not think about it. Yeah, you lost one chest. Y you know, that chest is just gonna give us the clob. That's all we did, we just said no to the clob. Beware of the clob. Yo, I need to, <laughs> I just realized, I need to make that like a, a sound effect or something for the stream. Whenever we get the clob, it'll just be beware of the clob. Yeah, why not? Gilead says, I gotta go polish my sousaphone. You should be back in time for Hollow Knight. What? I can't tell. What, what is a sousaphone? Because I've heard that before, and I don't think you're 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 doing the Homer Simpson saxophone joke. So what the fuck is a sousaphone? I look, I've been in band. I have three instruments, all in my closet, but I have them. What the hell is a freaking sousaphone? Is it a, is it a wind instrument or is it a reed instrument? Well, is, <laughs> I was like, is it a wind or is it a spit instrument, AKA a trumpet? But is it like a wind, is it a reed, string? What the hell is it? Let's get the key and uh, Let's fight the boss. I want a gun. I want a gun and I want to use the disintegrator because why not?
Oh, crap. There goes one of our Guan Stones. I mean, th that's just a bad dodge. I actually am just like, I'm not paying attention to my dodging. I'm paying attention to the, uh, the HP bar. I'm like, how much damage are we actually doing with Disintegrator? When do we need to like, put, take our finger off of the trigger in order to get like the most ammo efficiency possible out of this gun? See, so, like right there, we hit the cap. Right there, we hit the cap again. So it seems like on the oubliette, you can fire it for about two seconds, and then you have to, uh, and then you have to let up off the trigger. But it, it does go through the ammo pretty pretty uh, slowly, the disintegrator, like 500, 10, 10, 10. That's not that bad. That's pretty good efficiency out of the gun. It's just, it doesn't break the damage cap or anything, you know? It's brass. How many keys do we have? We have two keys. You know what? I'll take it. Alien sidearm is actually half decent once you get a uh, another flawless. So I'll take it, and we'll we'll just break open this chest. Maybe we'll get a key. Maybe we'll get junk. But we'll break it open at zero keys, and we'll see what we get. Oh hey, look at that! We got some. Uh, oh hey, we got some HP. Perfect. Drop the balloon gun. Dude, I like the balloon gun. All right, I wanna try alien sidearm. You think this is better or worse than uh, than bow? It might just be a toss up, honestly. <laughs> They're both pretty bad. Okay, so, okay, well, I mean, look, I'm, I took that damage, but I'm testing something here. So alien sidearm, oh, alien sidearm took two shots to kill a ghost. The bow only takes one shot to kill a ghost. Okay, so bow is slightly better. It has a, a slightly longer charge time. But it does do oh, a tiny, tiny bit more damage. Okay, hey, could you like stop rolling when I get near you, please? I'm on fire. All right, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. I'm doing a lot of like testing though, it feels like though. Like, oh, uh, can we do this? How does this gun work? Oh, what's the damage here? Oh, what's better, alien sidearm or bow? Yeah, the question that everyone wants to know. What's better, alien sidearm or bow? <laughs> Neither one is the, uh, the correct answer. It also has piercing. That is true. It does have piercing. Once we get another flawless though, it might be a little bit harder to de declare one better than the other because the alien sidearm is gonna do more damage per second but it has more limited range. And it's not like the bow has, you know, intense damage. It, it does have infinite piercing but it only kills a bulletkin on the main shot, it doesn't kill it on the piercing shot. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely good. I'm glad to have it. That's what we'll say. We'll say I'm glad to have it. Oh my god! I just can't avoid taking damage on this run. <laughs> Every dodge has been absolute garbage. I hate it. Bow is better. I think the, I think the bow is better. And someone says sidearm, fool, fool killer says sidearm. Oh! That was unexpected. I think the bow's better, but it's like, what's better, shit or poop? <laughs> Six of one, half a dozen of the other. They're both the same in my books. Alex, have fun. See you later. I will have fun. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be playing Gungeon. 
I just want the next update to come out because honestly I want to I want to play the new character if there is a new character I want to do some like streaking do some challenge runs maybe um, go back to trying out some BCDD 20T runs does anyone else play those like on YouTube or Twitch I don't think so I think I'm like one of the few people that do those types of runs voluntarily <laughs> you know what I mean Oh my god, get out of here. Alright, one more chest. Armor of Thorns. There's my contact immunity, and there's my old crest drop-off. Nobody else likes torturing themselves. Well, maybe I like the torture. Alright, let's fight you. Probably just use Bundle of Wands. This might be one of those boss fights where we, we do want to mostly just be using the Disintegrator because of the uh, the missiles and the fact that those extra enemies can get spawned in. And there is a lot of dodging to be done on this fight, which could be kind of annoying with the Disintegrator because you'd have to keep charging it, but we'll, uh, we'll go simple. And simple means just hold the button down. Screw the ammo consumption, get the flawless. It also, it only used 250 ammo. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And we have an excellent, excellent gun now. I'm happy. Let's get everything. Why is everything so cheap, by the way? Oh, we got the, sh we got the pistol. That's why everything is so cheap. I had to think about it for a moment. I'm like, wait a minute. Everything is so cheap. Huts isn't that good, <laughs> so I don't see him doing it without mod the Gungeon enabled. BCDD 20T. Why would you Why would you enable mod the Gungeon for BCDD 20T? So you can cheat. Do 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 do. Hey guys. If you fight the Amoconda as your second floor boss, you should always get the Rattler. It can only make sense. It's only fair. Oh, oh, how about this? Um, if you fight the Amoconda and you hit the tail enough times, you break the tail off and you get a special weapon or a special item from the Amoconda that is his tail, AKA Dark Souls. Dude, look at this guy, he's so pretty! Look at him! What hit me? No, what, like, actu actually, what game, what hit me? God, sometimes, sometimes I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god. I, what? in the world hit me. And then you killed him. So heartless. Hello, Crackers. And, uh, Retromation and Chicken Walker and Random the... Ribbit... Random the... True Ribbiter. I thought that was... I thought that said Tribble. I was like, you're the true Tribble? <laughs> you must be Trouble. Well, thanks for the raid and hello and how you guys doing? Welcome! We're just playing some Gungeon. No, hey, get back here. I actually need you. The only funny business happening in this run is when uh, my mod breaks and uh, <laughs> like the game crashes and I can't move. We're also a gold robot. You cheated the shooting game with the wax wings. I, in the last run, I cheated the shooting game using the rat boots, and I took like six damage, <laughs> but it was totally worth it. <laughs> what did we get from that fight? I can't even remember the item that we picked up. I am the worst at remembering things. Okay, thank you, rat. You just suicided into me. This is your first time on the stream. Well, welcome. Unstable strafe. No reason. Oh yeah, I forgot. We are... I'll do it. 
We're the robot, we have an accuracy upgrade. Something like Crown of Guns is actually fantastic. That's right, thank you, Mud. We got the Vulcan Cannon. I remember now. I remember specifically because you reminded me. That's what you're here for, my dude. Bow nail gun? No, nail gun hammer. I think there's a couple of items that synergize with the nail gun. I just forget what they are. It's one sexy robot. He's a pretty he's a pretty cute little robot here. How do you like your five shells? <laughs> Hey, you know what? I'm kind of of the mind right now. If I see a brown chest, I'm gonna open it. You wanna know why? I want a freaking brown rainbow chest. I wanna be a part of the cool kid club that spent a key on a random brown chest and it turned out to be the best decision they ever made in Gunshin. Hey, uh, we found some drums and barrels. Gotta make sure to name them the same, the, what they actually are. What is this mod I'm playing? It's my mod. Well, the, the character is not my mod, but other things are my mod, like item balancing and new items and rainbow enemies and stuff like that. Because I like Gungeon. But there's a, a couple of rough edges around the games, things that need kind of kind of working out. Gotcha. Unstable Strafe, thank you for the follow. And X -Blood X Bloodhounds X, I did not see your message, your follow notification, but there you are. Twitch will not let you watch ads for bits. I walked into that pit. I don't know why I thought there was a platform there. There obviously was not a platform there. Oh God, Rainbow. <laughs> Crap. God, their shots are so fast. That's the uh, that's the rainbow enemy right there. Oh my lord! Sometimes you find a rainbow enemy and they're like, oh hey, uh, hey dude. Other times they just destroy you. Like if you find a, a rainbow misfire beast. My god! Everything with hammer in its name and anything with the anvil. Mm, right. I do enjoy the. Uh, the nail gun with its synergies. It's pretty good. And Toucan Nate. Well, thank you for the bits. How you doing? And Boar... B-Roar Soul Surgeon. Thank you for the follow as well. Do we have a key? Yeah, let's go see Map Man. I don't care about Unicorn Horn. It's too expensive. We don't have the money for it. That's a barrel. Barrel. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in my mod right now. And I'm adding in more. There's a room after you! Shit. I mean, I'm glad I came in here. That's not a secret room, really? Trick gun. <laughs> GG, we got trick gun, everybody. I've been working on this mod for a little while. Like, um, in the last run we did, we had chance bullets. And I changed chance bullets so that instead of replacing the bullet of the gun you're firing, it adds a bullet from a different gun. That way, you know, if you're using a, a powerful weapon like a rail gun, chance bullets is never going to make you not fire your rail gun shot. You're always gonna fire the rail gun shot, but sometimes you will also fire an additional projectile from something else. And uh, rebalancing things like that, you know? Making bad items better. Johnny404, thank you for the follow. That was one that just like needed to happen though, because chance bullets was like, I, I never take chance bullets because why would you ever take chance bullets? It just makes your other guns worse. Like, oh, I have Mega Hand and Heroin. It's a shame I'm not firing heroin shots. It's a shame I'm only firing, you know, shots out of my microtransaction gun. It's a little unnecessary game. I kinda wish I had a speed up.
out of ammo. Oh my god, that almost hit me. <laughs> yeah, I um, I changed Devolver, and the Devolver gun, when it transmogrifies an enemy, they're stunned, and they keep their relative HP, so you can kill them e uh, more quickly. Uh, I fixed chest teleporter, so now you will never lose a chest, and every single chest has a chance of being an, an item or a gun, as opposed to only the blue chests having items and every other quality of chest having a gun in it, which was a, a bug with chest teleporter. Um, yeah. You know, just kinda, kinda just adjusting things that I think need adjusted in Gungeon. Fixing random bugs. Adding in random items at times. We have fun here. Um, well, I already talked to you. I can't afford this. I can't steal. It's a shame, because we do have loot bag now, but we're only gonna get enough money to buy, buy an S-tier item on the next floor. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. The nail gun synergizes with armor of thorns. Uh, you're right, um, but the synergy is not that good, is it? It just makes it so that you just shoot nails randomly. Like, who cares? The nails aren't that good. You know, I want the advanced version of the nail gun, the one that fires the big heavy nails. The ones that absolutely wreck enemies. That's what I want from it. That's my top tier synergy. Rainbow? No, we got the drill though. Take that. You just wanted the nail gun. <laughs> Chance is potato unless you have burst and beams. On the last run, we did have Abyssal Tentacle, which was really good with Chance Bullets. But you, you want to know what's weird to me about Chance Bullets? In Gungeon? In Gungeon, if you have Chance Bullets and a Beam Gun... Oh, crap. Then when... We should also use uh, Snowballer here. In Gungeon, if you have Chance Bullets and the Beam Gun, when Chance Bullets pays out with a Beam, it fires a Beam in addition to your projectile. But when it fires a projectile, it replaces it. That, to me, that doesn't make sense. Like, why would the item give you an additional projectile if it's a beam, but replace a projectile if it's a projectile? That seems like an oversight, you know? Did I buff rainbow chest spawns? Nope, I have not touched that at all. Uh, probably just gonna use vertebrae, okay, but uh, you know what? Since it's a mini boss and they're not affected by damage caps, let's wait until we can get a uh, an ammo drop. We'll use disintegrator. Oh my lord! The bullet speed gets me every single freaking time. I also can't hit him apparently because he's so fast. <laughs> People take rage. That's a good item. We'll buy a key though. I could gun munch. I could gun munch disintegrator. Oh you freaking enemy! I I hate I hate these guys. No, no, I'm I'm taking my money. That's, that's the second time on this run we have been knocked into a pit by an enemy. <laughs> and you wanna know what happened there? So you flip the table, you get table, t table flip and vulnerability, but I got hit through like contact immunity knockback. Like I touched him and then he pushed me back and then I fell into the pit and I got hit. <laughs> God, I hate it. These guys suck. Get away from me, you damn dirty blobs. I'm gonna get you. What would I hope for? Honestly, anything, I would hope for anything that could actually, I'm not gonna say one hit a boss, but anything that can do a lot of damage, because with that mini boss, we know what mini boss is gonna be. It's gonna be the bomber guy, Fusilier, whatever his name is. And we know that he doesn't have any sort of boss damage reduction. We can just pump damage into him as quickly as we can. That's what I wanna do. And if we can get ammo for the disintegrator, then we can probably kill him within like 10 seconds. 
ideally. Which would be perfect, because I don't want to spend a lot of ammo on him, but... Probably just gonna have to kill him the old-fashioned way. No, let, let's try it. Let's see if the disintegrator is gonna work here. Thank you, Toucan Nate. <laughs> let's drill. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Oh my god. Yeah, this uh, thing that can open chests. Should probably use it to open a chest every once in a while at least. Bionic leg. Good. It's real good. You would like to see Seven Leaf Clover being unlocked by luck from spitting it out of the gun muncher. That'd just take a long time, wouldn't it? Well, theoretically. Alright, don't dodge roll. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, took about 13 seconds. Still pretty good, we got a 50 credit piece. That means that it was probably the right option to spend on the ammo. And we can see that there's a secret room containing a blue chest, a key, an ammo drop. There's a challenge room. Ooh. I do like challenge rooms. Whoa. <laughs> the, 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 uh... The gummy, he died. I think he died to the explosion. All the way over there? I, I, I can't quite tell. It just seemed like he died in a very strange way. Also, hey, contact immunity, don't worry about these guys. Yeah, um, gun munchers, they only spit out guns. They don't spit out any uh, passives or actives. I think it would be cool if you could put in passives and actives and then get something out of it, but... You know, I can understand that being maybe a little hard to, to program, because with the guns, it just takes whatever gun you're holding. Oh my god, he's rainbow, and I don't know, know it. Why does he have, like, no rainbow assets on him? I guess they're made of shaders or something. He fired very quickly. <laughs> Very, very quickly. All right, we know what we're fighting in here. Nasty stuff. Oh, just you? Just one little boy? Not a problem, my dude. Just one little, uh, one little spent boy. I don't know why, but for in this room, I'm expecting there to be like four waves of Blizzbulons, but I think that that's just a random chance of happening. Random the True Ribbiter. I've actually had it happen before where I've used the drill on a chest room. I went inside the chest, fought the enemies, the chest unlocked, and another chest spawned, and I used the drill on that chest, to and it was like chestception. It was very strange when that happened, but it, it can happen, you are correct. You can get chests in chests. It's rare, but I mean, anytime you clear a room, you get a random drop out of it. And sometimes that random drop is just another chest. <laughs> Let me use the... Oh my god. What am I gonna use as a room clearing gun right now? Let's use the, um... Oh my god, it's it's all bad. I don't know, dude. Give me a alien sidearm, why not? It's everyone's favorite noisiest gun. God, I hate it so much. Stop that. Stop that, I said! It's chestception. Use sidearm. Yeah, AKA a loud gun. It is a loud gun! But dude, like that? That's cool. 
just got a freaking uh, blank drop from fighting a chest wave. It's awesome. What if I had the fairy and it showed Mega Hand? We're opening that chest. RPG. You know, I'll, I'll take it. I like the RPG. It looks like we're going to be fighting Kill Pillars, so this is actually really nice to have. It's not a, a hard counter to the Kill Pillar fight. Anything with explosives is nice to have, though, so you don't have to use a blank. I guess you don't have to use a blank at all on the fight anyways. I just like using the blanks at the beginning. That was a rainbow spent. Man, I'm almost like half done with the ammo in the sidearm too. Actually, I'm over half done with the ammo. It's not a very good gun. You know what, at least it's better than nothing. Or is it? All right, RPG into Vertebrae K hey, for the piercing. Good, 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 good. It's not very high damage output, but it's still a, a good gun for this purpose. Because of the fact that it pierces, it hits multiple kill pillars at once. We're getting low on ammo, though. Let's fire off another RPG. Alright, out of ammo. I mean, we could just do this. I mean, here's the thing. I'm glad we have the RPG. We, or sorry, the disintegrator. We need something that can kill bosses. I just wish what we had was was better than the disintegrator. <laughs> You know, I could probably just try to like roll into him and kill him, but it's hard to roll into this guy. It seems like when he's in the air, he doesn't actually want you to land on his head, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, I just used a blank, even though we know where the secret room is. <laughs> All right, that's a, that's a little dumb, I will admit. We should probably just hurt ourselves. Yeah, you know, that was probably like really dumb. All right, well, it's okay. I don't mind being dumb a little bit, okay? Everyone can be dumb in their own way. And I don't think there's any way of actually lighting myself on fire. No, th there has to be a room with a with a, a flaming barbecue pit in it somewhere, right? Oh, I screwed up, I screwed up big time. <laughs> The club is good now. Why is the club good? Oh, because of uh, the reloading. Yeah, that's right. All right, this is gonna be a long trip. I cannot look because I have to focus on my character right now. We have to go all the way to the secret room in order to get inside of it because I have to lose armor. to pop the door, because I'm an idiot and used a blank. There we go. Ah, money! Not my precious money! It's worth it, though. Yo, it's really worth it. Chloranthi ring. Ammo refund on the Rattler. Sweet. Now, gun munch. I'll keep the disintegrator. It's been a it's been a good gun for us. I will get rid of Crown of Guns though. No, let's get rid of the RPG and the uh, Eye of the Beholster. I know we haven't even used the gun at all, but it's not that good. Unstable strafe. Thank you for the bit. We got Pandora's box, and somehow you only got one card that was bad for your deck. Everything else was neutral or helpful to the run. It's nice when that happens in Slay the Spire that you get a good roll, but. I've learned to not rely on it. I much prefer something like Astrolabe now, because at least that upgrades the cards as well.
Double active reload. Well, we whacked. Never mind. <laughs> I don't I don't like using Rad Gun anymore. It's too good of a gun, you know? I'll use makeshift cannon on bosses. Rad gun though, that's where I draw the line, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> But it makes it, oh right, also, hey, active reload. It makes the room clearing, I think, just a little bit too simple. Like, you just absolutely wreck everything. Second master round and third master round after one another. Please tell me you dropped stuff. We did not drop stuff, unfortunately. That's just how the uh, run worked out. Actually, you know what happened? I think loot bag and master round spawned at the same time. I picked up the master round first and then the loot bag. So we got the loot bag, I think, as a result of the third floor boss, if I remember correctly. Well, worth a shot. All right, uh, probably should not lose all of my money. Save the conveyor belts. I get cocky on the conveyor belts. I'm like, you can't catch me, and then they catch their bullets catch me instead. <laughs> I should play a little bit more uh, more carefully there. Also, I don't know why I'm only bringing this up now, <laughs> but when we had that raid earlier, there was no like on-screen message message that appeared, and there should have been. I don't know why there wasn't. I'll have to fix that later. Yo, Luxon Cannon! What's the synergy? What's the synergy? Phoenix Up. Phoenix Up is a good synergy, too. Makes, uh... Oh, wait, no, this is not the one. There... Oh, right. Phoenix Cannon... Phoenix Cannon. Phoenix Gun and Fossilized Gun. That's the one that makes it so that you fire a whole bunch of... Lava, not, not, lava, not like napalm on the ground when you fire the phoenix gun or something like that. It's about correct, I think. Dude, I love this combination. Luxon Cannon and Kaga Battle. I don't know why, this is like one of my favorite combinations in the game. It's not even that good, it's just I love the gun and I love the item. Your first dragon fight, you had an amazing run. You died with it. Second phase, one shot. Dragon can be tough, especially if you're on like a DD20 mode run, and then you just you die because you took one damage, <laughs> which is always a pain in the butt with uh, high stress. It's just so ammo efficient. I love this gun. You know, you know when people say, ask me, oh, what's your, what's a favorite, oh my god, so many bullets. What's one of your favorite guns in the game? You know what? Dude, I love Luxon Cannon. It's so satisfying. It sounds great. Did you turn? I didn't realize that guy could turn to shoot you in another direction. You think I would know that? Oh, we have five keys. I'll take the ammo. I'm, I'll take the ammo right now. I don't care. Yeah, sure. 260 rounds in the Luxon Cannon. Oh, God. Admittedly, those Chance Belons are a little bit tanky. Even for good old Luxon Cannon here. What am I, why am I running from these enemies? <laughs> I keep forgetting I have that contact immunity. It's like, just stand still and kill them. Got 
could have even just even just dodge rolled into that guy. You know what? All right, what needs ammo? We'll take it for the Rattler. It the Rattler is such a good backup gun. Such an efficient gun. I think you got to take it there. Payday mask, all three familiars, let's go. Now, if only we had any sort of synergy with them at all. Goodbye, fake LJ. Ultimate noob, God damn it! I always get so close to the Lich. Uh, were you on a run? A fake lich. Fake LJ, rather. Rip. Rip for the run! Gotcha! It's got good accuracy. Well, actually, you know, the accuracy in it's probably a little bit better for us because we are the robot. We have that accuracy upgrade in Ooh, battery bullets. I know I see the wood, I'm not gonna take the wood. Which is better, Blank Man or Shotgun Man? I mean, it really depends. I I kinda like Blank Man, because you can get the cool synergies. You know, if you get Blank Man gold ammo lit, GG. But Shotgun Man, you know, if you are on a DD20 mode run, I would prefer him if I don't have an ammo lit synergy, because at least that's passive damage being done to the enemies. You know, that's when I can't shoot my gun, he's still shooting for me. You know? So I think we're just gonna use Disintegrator here. It should be able to get the job done, at least most of it. Honestly though, it might not have the damage necessary. good for that though. Yeah, it might not have the ammo plus damage necessary to make it work. But hey, we got a lot of guns that we can use against bosses here. How do you get the familiars? It's the, um, the payday mask, the payday, um, loot bag, and the payday drill that we have. The mask makes it so that all three of those items give you familiars. And since we already had the drill and the loot bag, picking up the mask gave us three familiars. Now we have these three guys, but they're not doing anything because they're dumb. They really do like being dumb about it. <laughs> it's like, really, I just want them to shoot and they're just standing there like, we, we got him. At least Blank Man's helping me out. Oh, I screwed this one up big time. Oh, we still got him! <laughs> I wasn't charging the disintegrator. I accidentally swa uh, swapped away from it. Went to the wrong gun. I did everything wrong there, but it still worked. Yo, getting carried by the disintegrator on these boss fights, it feels like. Not really, but kind of. I'll take the ammo for it, and you know what? I'm not even gonna gun munch it. I'll use this against the Lich if I have to. Do I have to? No. Will I? Probably. So let's get rid of the rad gun. Rip wood. Eh, who cares about the wood beam? Let's also get rid of crown of guns, I think. No, we'll keep it. We'll get rid of uh, Smiley's revolver. And I I'm only gun munching just to see what we get, honestly. I think we have enough guns that we can survive bullet hell. I'm just curious. And this is a horrible, horrible item for us. This is a horrible gun. I wish that we did not gun munch at all. But hey, we gotta live with our decisions now. Boo. Boo, gun muncher, boo. You know, worst comes to worst, we can at least use the grenade launcher for the first phase of the Lich. Honestly, though, for the first phase, I think the Disintegrator is the strongest, because in the second phase, there's a lot of dodging, and in the third phase, there's also a lot of dodging. 
Unless you can time your blanks correctly, in which case the third phase doesn't have that much dodging. Please. At least we're here in bullet hell now. My home. I feel comfortable in bullet hell. Bullet, he bullet hell is where I belong. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. It might be one of my most favorite floors in the game just because it is so unforgiving. Unforgiving. I forget how that quote in Darkest Dungeon goes. What is that? That's a quote for when you when you get crit or something, right? Am I thinking about that correctly? I will say, Void Marshal is gonna get the job done. Yeah, that's some uh, that's some pretty damn good damage output. Oh, we got a chest! Hell yeah! It's cold 45, hell yeah. Excuse me, bro, stop summoning enemies and get, stop getting in my way. Oh, lag. I need to make a item for the game that is like the, the lag spike or something. I can tell he's rainbow because of his eyeballs. This is not the gun I want. This is the gun I want. Because there are a lot of lag spikes in Gungeon. Maybe it's my computer, maybe it's the game. You're rainbow. Did I say crit? <laughs> Which is what Cheese Bar Baron the Hellion is best at. <laughs> Especially after resting and improving her crit by eight points when she's in the first round. Or is it just eight points in general? I can never remember. Yeah, get the reload, reload please. Thank you. I've been having a lot of fun playing through Darkest Dungeon again. I'm, I'm glad I'm, co I'm coming back to it. I think the time is right for another playthrough of it. And not only just because of the, um, the news of Dark, uh, I was gonna say Dark Souls 2. No, that game already exists, unfortunately. No, Darkest Dungeon 2. And you can, you can bet your ass that I'm gonna be playing the hell out of that game when it comes out. Oh my lord. Wow, we're already out of ammo? I will say, good gun goes through its ammo very quickly. We have a lot of good guns in the run, but not a lot of like great ammo efficient weapons, except for the Luxon Cannon and some other things that we've already used. a freaking grenade launcher. You wanna know why? Because if we find an evil gun muncher, we can gun munch it. Get this freaking gun out of my sight. This is not the right way to go. Pure Salt 5 says, how do you get familiar? I'm trying to beat the game. I made the pilot. Your best friend was floor one to four. You died on the high priest. You flawless Gatling Gull, the trigger twins and ammo Got any tips for getting to the dragon? Try playing as not the pilot. Maybe you would benefit from playing as one of the other characters. Pilot's a good character, if but um, you know he's better the longer you can make a run last. So you know, try playing as the convict or try playing as the hunter. Oh, 
Oh, good lord. You know, mix it up a little bit. If you keep it the same forever, you're gonna get yourself into a bit of a rut. Get yourself out of that rut. He's rainbow. Oh, he is, he is a hella rainbow. I need another gun. Dude, and this is why I always use like crappy guns early in the run, because now we're in freaking bullet hell. And admittedly, we're using Cold 45, but we picked up Cold 45 on bullet hell. All right, now we're fine. Now I can stop complaining about not having any ammo or any guns for ammo because we have Lux and Cannon filled. I also keep reloading the Lux and Cannon when it has like one shot remaining. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the final shot. It's not that important to get the final shot out. You gotta go, my dude. Um, dude, I don't know. Doesn't matter what we use against these guys. Ammo. Um, it's not necessarily the boss fight. We should take it for something important, like the Void Marshal. Now we definitely have enough ammunition, 100%. I see you, don't worry. What is the health reduction on rainbow enemies? I can tell you. Health reduction on regular enemies is 0 0.6 and on bosses, 0 0.8. Cause um, rainbow bosses in the old rainbow mode mod, they were far too difficult. So I, I toned them down significantly. They're, they're, they're faster than regular bosses, but they are not as fast. And they don't have as much, much of health reduction. You know what synergy I really love, now that I think about it? Isn't there that synergy with the Luxon Cannon that makes the Luxon Cannon shots, like have three final shots and they all explode into like 50 million bullets? That's a good synergy. I miss that synergy. No, Disintegrator first phase, I remember. Sure, there's a lot of dodging, there's also a lot of opportunity for being able to stand still and, and you know, still be safe. Good. Every character looks like the Marine with the mask. <laughs> we all do kind of look the same. I don't know if I'd say that they look like the Marine. You just realized that this is a robot run. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, and that was a pretty long floor. Last run we uh, found the Lich pretty quickly. This run did take a little bit longer, but that's okay. You know, he's still gonna die, even if it takes me a little bit longer to find him. Oh crap, no I got it, I got it. I'm still practicing that dodge, by the way, that kind of like zip up through the, weaving your way through the bullets, because one day I will go back to playing more BCDD 20 team. We're gonna have to do that perfectly. It's gonna be like high stress, and if we fail it, we're gonna die, and if we don't do it perfectly, we're gonna be dead. He touched me, and I fell into the pit. How, how many times have I fallen into the pit on this stupid run? <laughs> 
Whatever. Just take my money. Ow! I got hit and used a blank. I hate it. <laughs> Dude, from losing like six guan stones because we got knocked into a pit from a rubber bullet kin. I got knocked into the pit on the fourth floor from an enemy even though I, I threw up a table. Freaking the lich himself knocks me into the damn pit. Pits, I think, are my greatest nemesis right now. <laughs> Gungeon. <laughs> oh my god. Good night, Unstable Strafe. Thanks for stopping by. Well, there we go. One hour, five seconds. Almost perfect. Good run, good items. Kaga Battle with Lux and Cannon and the... Void Marshal is a fantastic combination. It's always nice to have a Snowballer, even though we didn't use it that much. Speed up, dodge roll up, good stuff to have. Actually completely forgot about Snowballer. I was using Cold 45 and I'm like, it's a good gun. I'm glad we got it, we can freeze enemies with it. Snowballer's right there. It's like, you forgot about me. I did, Snowballer, I'm sorry. We did a lot of gun munching, we gun munch random guns that we probably weren't going to use. I probably should have kept some of those weapons. They would have been better than the grenade launcher that we ended up getting out of it, but you know what? You risk, you live, you learn. Should name this episode Pitfall. If I remember, Mud, I'll do that. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.